Hi, my name is Eric Raymer and I'm going to talk to you about getting out of your comfort zone and talk to the camera. <laughs> no, not really, because I, I'm not really comfortable doing that. But what I want to talk about is creative constraints in the context of a series of images. The Photography Scavenger Hunt is a group of a good 300 people, many of whom have become really close friends over the years, that are being given three times a year a set of 10 images, uh, sorry, a set of 10 words for which they have to create images. And this last edition was celebrating the 25th edition of the Scavenger Hunt, and we were being given the same words as the very first edition that Krista Ray has, uh, has created. And uh, the issue is it's not only 10 words, but she decided to create one word for each letter of the alphabet, so here we go, uh, we had to create 26 images. The term scavenger hunt may have a, kind of a very opportunistic sound to it, uh, very much like a street photographer who would be looking for the subject, the light, the composition, everything to come together for that decisive moment that he would catch on camera. So it's really looking for an image to, to come in front of your camera. I decide to usually take a different approach and I start from a blank canvas. I want to, uh, I want my full creative freedom and then start with a concept from scratch and create images. Uh, but then 26 images or even 10 for that matter, it's pretty hard to create an entire series that, uh, where you have a new idea for each, each image. So that's when creative constraints come in handy. Think of those as artificial boundaries that you set up yourself. At first, it may seem a little constraining. Uh, but it turns out your brain is pretty good at finding solutions. It's when you face obstacles, when, uh, when you're stuck, that you find workarounds and that you overcome these obstacles, and that's sometimes when the best ideas come, come out. And in the art world, it's very much similar. It's if you set your constraint, if you decide to operate under, uh, with limits, that you will start thinking, okay, how can I bend those limits? And in this video, I want to show you some of those constraints I gave myself and what I did to, uh, to use them to trigger ideas and to create beyond, beyond what I normally would have created. So the first, let's start with the first constraint. The first constraint I decided was this thing. So that is a catapult that I built some two years ago for a project I did that I called Gravity Zero, that threw things into the air. Uh, my first constraint was use a thing catapult, put my camera on top, shoot everything downwards on that, on that catapult and then, uh, and then capture the image. So if I pull that trigger here, ah, it comes up. So let's see how it works. First constraint. The letter F was for fire. So instead of burning down that entire piece of cardboard, I decided to just use some matches and throw them up. Letter H was for hamburger, so I decided to cut a small piece of bread, a small piece of uh, meat, and put everything here on the catapult and throw it up. It will still be able to spill all its guts on every single thing. The other constraint I gave myself was to shoot everything in a square format on a colored background, like this one. So the letter Y was for yellow. So for that I decided to cook, to cook a square omelette in a round pan and shoot it on a yellow background. Letter V was for vase, so there's no way I could fit the flower, sorry, it's been some time I did that shoot, the flower with a vase on a square background, so here too I had to be creative. Another constraint I set myself up for was to shoot everything indoor, obviously. So when the letter M for moon came out, uh, I was kind of stuck, so I had to create my own move, and I used flour for that. It 
So there are many more images for which I did not capture behind the scene, uh, but let me end up with the letter I for ice, where I put water in here and uh, I had to clean up a little bit of a mess afterwards. So in conclusion, I've always done, I've always tried a variety of things with my photography. I'm not sure I really have a, a definite style, but, but I like exploring, I like, I like portraiture, I like ballet, I like underwater, I like frozen flowers, I mean just you name it. Uh, and if I didn't set some boundaries for myself, I would just be all over the map. So that setting these constraints and, and doing a series of photos has really helped me explore a field more in depth, uh, refine my art, and uh, just, having, I'm just having a blast creating all these images. So thank you so much for watching and huge hugs to all my scavenger friends. See you.